crap, that wasn't good. Um, he saw that. He saw that. Gotta run, gotta run. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I got his bed. Gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. Okay. Sorry. Well, anyway, guys, welcome back to another episode. This is episode 5. And I've looked, well, I don't know. Maybe I'll make it episode 4 again because I watched the last video. And for some reason, I seem to be always lost in thought when talking because I'm it's like it's like I got stage fright because those uh, guys here in my field were always wandering around disturbing me distracting me don't worry I'm not mad at you for doing that <laughs> Grr, as if he's mad at me so it looks like at night the mob grinder is not as efficient as it used to in daytime because as you can see, I have not put a lot of torches around this uh, taiga biome. Usually this thing works for skyblock. If this was a skyblock, regardless of day or night, this thing will always be very efficient and spawns a lot of mobs. Okay, gotta breathe. So, to tell you more about this server, this used to have some mini games, And there's this one mini game that Frog implemented before. I don't know if he'll still implement it now. But we used to play a lot of it. Um, I'm not sure if some players here are familiar with this mini game called Infected. But when Alex, me, Frog, Dio, Anne, um, and a few other old players, Cutie Girl, uh, who else do I remember? I kind of forgot the other other people. But we used to play Infected, and uh, what we would do is um, there's like a, t a 25 second timer before. It starts, and then one person or two people will be infected, depending on the number of people. Uh, and, of course, the goal for the zombies is to um, infect everybody. And then the goal for the survivors is to survive. Luckily, I have won some games as a survivor because I know how to hide. I got my good hiding spots, but Alex always uh, finds me, so... Uh, damn him for uh, ruining my hi perfect hiding spots. Or I'd call them blind spots because people would just simply pass a corridor and then I'm just there. Yeah, I know, me too. Alex was... Actually, If speaking of Alex, he's now back in Holland. He just graduated from um, some special courses. So, congrats to him and cheers. So, well, is he playing... Uh, sometimes. He's, more, he's playing, I think, Dota more than this. But when he pl when he has the time, he does play uh, Minecraft. I don't know what he does now these days. Probably reminiscing, chilling a bit. You know, taking a break from from studying. Damn it! Hitch Crouch got it first. So now let's go back to our stone. Uh, let's go back to our stone mountain. So I have already smoothened out a bit of the. Uh, ground here, so you don't see any more. If you notice, there's no more. Uh, uh, what do you call this? There's no more patches of uh, coal ore, no more iron ore, polished stones. Now it's all stone. It's like the older version of Minecraft where polished stones were not yet introduced. So my plan to here is to make a silo. It's gonna be maybe a cylindrical type. I do like to build stuff or dig stuff, but I'm not really a fancy builder, so I think some people have discovered that I always build man caves like Project Cylinder, Project Cube, Project Circle. And I think there are some people here before who saw my cube. Uh, I don't know if they still remember that. It was in, I think, two versions ago where I made a giant cube. Uh, I think it was about 50 by 50 by 50. So I broke like 2,500 blocks in total. So, okay. So we're going to build a silo here. Maybe we can make it a farm silo or a nuclear silo. Maybe a nuclear silo will do. Or maybe a nuclear power plant. I really don't know. 
but definitely I'll be thinking of what to build here. And I was expecting Aquino and his uh, three musketeers to TP to me here, but it looks like they're not doing it. So, oh damn it, when I said it, he came. Okay, whatever. So, actually, we're not. Uh, actually, for hint, hint, for hint's sake, we are. This place is actually close to my original base or my uh, grinder base. So, you can actually walk about maybe 300. Uh, how many? 300 bucks, 300 miles, 300 kilometers. You know, it just took me about 7 billion years to find this place. Find the perfect extreme hills place to dig all the dirt out. And I did say in the previous episodes that it took me more than 30 billion millennia to dig all the dirt out here. No, just kidding. It just took me about 3 hours. But that's how I roll. Okay. So what's gonna happen here is we're gonna no, we're gonna flatten this area, and uh, I'll build maybe a certain. What shape should it be? Let me ask you guys. What shape would you like it to be? Square, circle, triangle, rectangle, pentagon, hexagon. What do you guys think? Aki what do you think, Akino? Segusa circle. Who is Segusa? Segusa. Someone must be in the chat as well. Oh well. All right, circle it is. The majority has spoken. Only four people. Four people out of uh, four, eight, twelve, fifteen. So the majority wins. So it doesn't matter who, whether it's majority or minority. Majority still wins. Four out of fifteen. We'll make a circle. So let me start the foundation and I'll get back to you in just a second. Hmm. I wonder if this is a good circle. I don't know if this is a wound. If this will do performance. Yeah, fair enough. I, I, I build stuff like this before. So what we're gonna do is make a very tall silo, maybe like as tall as Taipei 101. No, we can only reach 255 blocks, so that's not good. That's not t tall enough. If I remember it right, Taipei 101 must be about 800 feet or 800 meters tall. And assuming that this block is 1 meters, we can't go to Y800 because the build limit only reaches 255 meters. So, and buildings would take years to build, obviously, in a real in a real life sense. Although... I'm pretty sure in the Philippines we're supposed to have a Manila Diamond Tower under construction, and I have not yet seen that. Should be in the Quezon Avenue area, but I haven't seen that, so anyway. Okay, so it's gonna be a circular silo here, even though this doesn't look like a circle, but put the entrance maybe here, and then put, build a path down here to maybe a square over there, right in the middle of the other flat area. We're going to put a square, we're going to design a certain square, like right here, maybe put some, put a garden or uh, put maybe some, yeah, sure, why not, maybe polar bears, or I prefer baby polar bears, can you disguise into a baby polar bear, or no, sorry, wait, that's just a pet, uh, kidding, we ignore what I just said, <clears throat> now, uh, of course, when I said that, here is this guy. Shoot, get out. Now, let's see. So this is gonna be where the square is. And then, we're probably gonna build something over here as well. That's why I removed all the dirt. And then, uh, also, also here we're gonna build maybe like a cave-in type of man cave type like a thing. Building like right here, we can maybe build an underground. What can I build here? Like a black market, maybe. Wait, what? Uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, so maybe uh, something down there, something over here, and then something here where the circular thing is. All right, let's do this. So I'll get back to you again. Uh, I'm gonna build and see if stone brick will work, or I should, or maybe polished stone for the walls. Uh, uh, specifically andesite. 
I don't think diorite will look good in uh, in a vanilla sense, but if in Sortex, it will probably do look it, it will it will probably look good. So give me another minute and let me see if the first floor of this circular silo will look good with certain types of stone. Be right back. Okay, so got the pillars working here. And then the next floor, now I'm still thinking of what staircase will do for this one. But the floor, I think here, will be using one of the three polished stones. Maybe we can use uh, granite or um, andesite. So give me another sec, I will see how the floor will look in just a bit. Okay, so this is how the ceiling will look like. Definitely this ladder is just a temporary thing. Now, I'm thinking I should fill this with maybe just regular stone bricks or maybe glass. But I'm not sure. But for now, I'll just fill this up with stone to complete the first floor. So this is the start of a very tall tower, which will be probably a silo maybe or a, or a silo for farming goods. But there's a lot of building stuff to do. I, used, I remember doing a tree project back in the old uh, version, which involved a lot of dark oak wood. Looks like I'll need to light up the places down here as well because it's going to spawn a lot of stuff. Okay, three there. Okay, very good, very good. Oh, this will uh, good luck to you. Huh? Sorry? Oh, okay. They must have left. I guess uh, they have class tomorrow. But there we go. This is the... This is the um, initial structure for now. Definitely I'm gonna build more of these off camera. Seeing, thinking of what to do. And I do appreciate the person, I think it was Aquino, who built a stone house for me here. Very good. Thank you very much, sir. You are too kind. And you have to become stone. Okay. So what else can we do? Just looking around to see what uh, just seeing how the view will look like once this thing is done. I must make prepare. Well, I'll have to get the dirt back eventually. So we're gonna level this up a bit. Uh, we're gonna. Are we gonna do it? Nope. We'll just keep it like this for now. Okay. This is gonna be something here like a garden-like type of front yard. And then over there will be more building stuff. And it seems that I'm lagging a bit right now. Ugh. Lags can be really annoying sometimes. All right, let's go back to our building here. So what's gonna happen here is it's gonna be quite high, maybe about almost 100 blocks tall. The question is, how do you design it inside? It's just gonna be a mystery. Well, anyway, we'll stop here for now. We're gonna, let me, oh yeah, I just realized I haven't shown you the, uh, I haven't told you um, much about about spawn in this server so why don't we do it now I think it's warp global so usually you will start here after I think you choose a class and then there's a guide if you want if you have any questions they have also bounty so you can put ahead we got some giveaway loot which I already looted they got monthly weekly Daily, which I have already looted as well. This is a really big spawn, by the way. Very grand. Look at the trees that were used here. These were probably custom made. And then we got here a, a weapon. You can forge, I believe, weapons with sponges. Yep. You can turn that these diamond um, with the redeem sponge into a non forged weapon, which I do have a lot of sponges here. I do say so myself. I do have some vote loot crates. I do have a legendary key. 
from the giveaway. Uh, vote party to be more specific. Got some cute little forge here. Uh, they got here's where you can trade two of unidentified keys and two, yeah, two identified keys of iron ingots and sticks. They're known as annoy key piece. They'll be forged into identified keys. Excuse me for the yawn there. I do hope Brock can bring back some mini games like Infected for, for once. Maybe a, maybe even a cheaper mini game. Here is the staff. We have Frog, we have Dio, and Anne or Earth Lorax. We got the staff here. We got PH Crouch, Kawaii, and Akino as the mods. No, sorry, PH Crouch and Akino as the uh, mods, and then Akino as the builder. We got some helpers here. LT. Patty cake, I have not seen you in a while. And th and Theon Funnel Funnel Corn. I don't know how to pronounce your name, sir. Patty cake. I think patty cake comes in a while. Hmm. Wonder what's behind here. Maybe it's off to the wild. But yeah, there we go. That's the staff and that's the staff or the owner and the owner. So let's move on to King of the, there's another mini game here, King of the Ladder, and we got a certain attract, uh, aesthetic, a fountain, very nice. We got I think farms down here. This one is actually the safe PvP uh, area where you have to battle people and you don't and you don't lose your inventory, which is okay. This I have not seen yet. This must be a um, a donator lounge. Ooh. So I guess I do have access here. I should have access. Can I sit here? I can. Interesting, interesting. Let me try that again. And you can even slash sit. That's cool. Okay, Donator's Lounge. There's the safe PvP here. Where you can uh, battle without losing your inventory. Because in the factions, you do lose inventory. Let's keep going. Another fountain here. Are there nearby people here? Yeah, there's a couple. Ah, we got some little tykes here. Most deaths weekly. Oh, that's hilarious. How about most votes monthly? Most deaths. This is not most kills, aren't they? Hmm, interesting. I think it's different. Yeah, you can go to the shop. Got some market here. Most mines. <laughs> Look at that. I mined. Does this include digging? I kind of wonder. Or is it all just mining? Huh. I really want to know. Most walks. Ah, these are people who wander off. Interesting. I wonder if there's a manual command for that, but look at that. I've mined 16,869 blocks. I think digging is included, which is quite hilarious, really. But nevertheless, let's keep going. Um, and I think there's an animal farm over here. Yep, down here. The spawners will spawn. I wonder, though... Of course, you can still turn pigs into pigmen. You saw nothing. And here we have the donors options. So, eight dollars for iron. I think the prices are still the same. Sixteen. What? Well, oh, except for this one. It used to be fifteen dollars. I guess they want to make it every one hundred. Got thirty dollars. One five. Got fifty dollars for emerald. And lastly, ruby. Four hundred US dollars. I think there's a second U uh, ruby player already. Ever since I was, I was the first Ruby player since I've been trying to. I've been supporting Battle Penis for quite some time. I think most of last year I did support. So yeah, that's spawn. I'll I can tour you shop, I guess. Let me check if I do have time. Nope, I don't have time anymore. So I'll cut it short here. And of course, we're back here at the staff. So guys, uh, and the fellows who were with me in Discord, thank you for listening. I know you guys are playing Counter Strike now. But uh, thank you for listening to my rants. I hope you didn't know Spleed, which you did say you didn't. And I'll see you in the next episode and do a few more things off camera. Take care. Have a good day.
and have a good night.